Hello everyone, welcome to part 11 of my uh, Civ Civilization 5 game as Byzantium. Uh, it's at turn 986, I uh, just had a successful war with uh, the Huns. Uh, I acquired a couple of cities that way, one by conquest and one as part of the peace deal. Um, so I've actually got one of the original capitals here, uh, the original Arabian capital, I believe, uh, and that uh, that's kind of uh, interesting. Uh, that actually got me quite a bit of land. It makes me wonder why the Huns offered Mecca for in in uh, exchange for peace. Now it might be because it was so far on the edge of their empire. Uh, I would have expected, uh, well, or maybe is it just their smallest city? Yeah, that might be it. It might just be it was their smallest city. Anyway, um, I got rid of a couple of, uh, of citadels here that um, had been used to steal land from me. And... Uh, yeah, basically, uh, <coughs> now I just need to get the happiness sorted out, and then I can uh, go ahead and uh, move on with uh, the rest. Uh, uh, hopefully, I uh, don't end up having to, or or I don't end up invading them again. I might actually uh, just. Uh, Just so that I can, uh, you know, get them and their conquest ways gone, or actually, so I can compete with Poland, who seems to be on the uh, massive expansion uh, path. Uh, one thing about uh, expanding like that is uh, you get more cities where you you can uh, build, you can earn culture. Uh, now, the problem is, it also slows down the rate at which you gain uh, uh, the, uh, the culture, uh, the, the, the social policies. So, uh, massive expansion can actually seriously hamper you. On the other hand, it can seriously improve your gold uh, uh, generation. So, it's uh, a bit of a toss-up now. Uh, okay, so fertilizer would be good for growth, substantially good for growth, so I'm going to go there. And I need to actually, no, I think I'm good there. Uh, so, uh, what's this? Oh, right, I was repairing the damage I did during the uh, conquest. Well, that's annoying when it does that. Right? Uh, there's a farm here, but you can't see it. Now you can. Okay, that was walls there. Uh, what? Okay, I really need to go through and build the public schools just for uh, science. So I'm going to go and change all of these over to public schools. It's going to seriously hamper my gold, but the public schools are necessary for uh, science uh, generation. So, okay, uh, one more there. I think that's it. 
Yeah, okay. It doesn't quite take me negative, at least immediately. Which is uh, kind of surprising. I thought it would. Okay, what have I got? The, okay, that was the Colosseum. Uh, market. We'll start generating gold. Actually, I'm going to build a granary. For these cities where I'm actually sending uh, trade routes back to my capital, I'm actually switching those over to food uh, as they come up uh, so that I can uh, get the capital really growing now that I've got the uh, initial production stuff basically out of the way there. Okay, that was a market. And granary will be really good there. There isn't much you can do with the, the snow tiles. Other than build uh, trading posts. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that was Big Ben built by Poland. I think I might actually have to go to war with Poland here. Ah, uh, right. Oh, that's a caravan. Uh, Constantinople food. Uh, what is this? Forest grassland. Um, I think a farm will be fine there. And, as usual, I'm not going to participate in somebody else's war unless I happen to want to go to war with that somebody else anyway. Great musician, huh? Um, right. Okay, so that's improved. That's got a camp. That's got a mine. That's forest grassland, and that's grassland. Okay, I'll uh, I'll put a uh, farm there. It's uh, recommending I build um, uh, trading posts on those because the uh, cities are uh, set up for uh, uh, gold because they're because they're puppets, right? So. Um, right. What I want to do here, um, right, I want to take a look in the ideologies.
thing is, you can't uh, see what they are. Um, does it list them? No, 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 no. Uh, does it list them in here? Uh, social policies. No. Uh, game concepts, is it here? Ah, here we go. I went with freedom. Oh, yeah, that's not helping me any. So I'm going to have to go to the interwebs here, uh, which is not going to show up on the video. Um, so I'm just going to look them up uh, quickly. Just taking a look here, ideology, right, uh, freedom. Freedom. Okay. There is a level three um, uh, tenant with freedom uh, that uh, boosts tourism significantly. That's media culture. Uh, but that means you have to have two level two tenants to get it. Um, let's see. I picked up universal suffrage. Urbanization would be okay for a level two tenant. That's a happiness one. And capitalism uh, might be good if I didn't pick that up already. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. Um, two ideology, I didn't. So that might be okay to pick things up in there. But I think social policies might be more uh, productive here. If I went with this one, uh, I would uh, increase my gold. Uh, the temples would be 25% uh, increase in gold in a city. And that might be worth doing. But commerce is also good for uh, boosting gold. Aesthetics is good for culture generation. Now, rationalism uh, is something that would be uh, really good uh, for uh, uh, for science, but uh, and this one, if I close it, I'll be able to see hidden antiquity sites. Uh, so I'm actually tossing up here between uh, commerce and aesthetics. Um, I'm actually going to go with aesthetics. Uh, that allows Uffizi um, right so that's either been built by somebody or I don't have the tech yet uh, <clears throat> and I wanted to see which uh, 
which civilization I'm going to have to work the hardest to catch up with. That happens to be Poland, with whom I do not have open borders, and that's going to be a problem. Um, I'm just going to see. Uh, now... He wants one coal and he wants my remaining coal and uh, open borders. Okay, I'll accept that. Uh, and that means I can send my uh, great musician to Poland. then I can uh, drop something of a culture bomb on them and uh, that will be uh, immensely uh, helpful uh, for catching up in the uh, tourism game now so more food to the capital this guy's healed so now I'll uh, go after this uh, the musket man um, right I suspect uh, the Polish are not marching on me, or they would not have uh, have um, uh, provided me with the open borders. Okay, what have I got here? Um... That's out of range. This is not, however. Okay, attack again. Um, that's a city-state quest from two city-states. Okay, I definitely want to uh, uh, to do that one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to let that guy heal. Uh, right. So I built a bank there. I think a granary would be a good idea there. So at some point I need to up, upgrade these trebuchets to cannons. Uh, and I think that's fairly expensive. So I'm going to actually collect a big stack of gold first. The trebuchets are still effective for defense at this point. Uh, they're just not ideal. Uh, right, so that's grassland forest. Eh, I'll make a farm there. Okay, one, two, three. That's uh, three out, three out. Okay, one, two. That's a mountain, can't. One, two. This is not in range. This is, that's uh, forest grassland. Yeah, I'll leave the lumber mill there. That's a mountain. Uh, forest grassland river. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, everything around Mecca is... Uh, Well, it's already improved. Now, uh, Constantinople now has a public school. Uh, let's see, there isn't really all that much I can build here that would be useful. Uh, but, I think it would be a good idea to build a couple of... Uh, boats to protect my coast here. Uh, frigate has range strength. I think, yeah, that's that's the thing to build. I want to protect my sea resources here at the very least. So, I'm going to want a couple of boats over here.
Oh, it's a great writer and a great engineer. I'm collecting great engineers. Uh, how's Constantinople doing for production still? What's the uh, layout? Um, 42 from terrain, 21 from buildings, 4 from specialists, 25 from trade routes still. Okay. What I can do with these, uh, some of these engineers is I can actually plant them instead of uh, mines. Um, and that will give me a slight boost in uh, terrain yield. Uh, right, actually they'd be just about perfect on a uh, tundra. Okay. So I have a great writer here. I could make a great work. I don't have any uh, great uh, writing slots that will yield me a theming bonus. Uh, but I do have plenty of great work slots for writers. But because I have so many cities, uh, bulbing the uh, the uh, uh, worker will get me a closer to a, a treaty. So uh, I'm 52 turns away now. I do that. And now I'm 28 turns away. And that's definitely worth doing. Okay, I'll conduct a concert tour here. Now we'll take a look at the uh, standings here. Um, that moved this over uh, a bit, but we have to get up to uh, 72,000, and we're only at 34, so we definitely need uh, a uh, substantial improvement there. Now, one of the uh, the nice things of the concert tour is while you get a big boost with the uh, civilization that you conduct the tour at, you get a smaller boost with all of the other civilizations, uh, as I recall. And that, uh, that can actually be enough to put you over with the other ones as well. Um, I've got an enemy somewhere. Uh... Right, I was switching to food. Uh, now where is... there it is. Oh, I see. It's uh, barbarians. Right. Uh, okay. Let's see. Well, I'm going to aim for uh, good old science there. Now, building a manufactory would increase production on this tile by two, uh, partly because it removes the forest. On this tile, it would increase production by three. So, I will plant a manufactory instead of a mine. I would get the same net benefit on the coal resource as well. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay, I've built just about everything over here. One, two... Okay, this is in range for sure, so I'll improve that one. Now I've finished a granary here. I'm going to uh, build the uh, 
science buildings out here. Um, get a university in, in every city. I'm losing grasp on Ormus. I'll have to deal with that. So I finished the granary there. Uh, so I'll uh, work on my uh, science stuff there. Uh, I definitely want to uh, sort this out, so I'll do that. Uh, farm the tundra there. Uh, I should mention, in case you didn't note the mods I'm using, one of the mods I'm using actually allows you to build farms on tundra. Uh, that's not something that's normal in the base game. But this does make these marginal tiles actually somewhat useful. Uh, and it's not so unrealistic that you'd be able to farm a tundra. It can certainly be done. They are quite fertile. Uh... Okay, I'll uh, park a boat here. Um, okay, so the frigates use iron. I'm not using iron for anything else, so... Well, I'll go over here. I need to take that guy out, so... Uh, right. Um, Antioch. There isn't really anything to build here. You could build the armory or, or what have you, but... Uh... Yeah, there really isn't anything to build here, so I'll put it back on wealth. Oh, I've got a uh, promotion here. I'll take that one. And I'm going to clear the camp there. Where? Panama City. No allies, so... Uh, might be worth cultivating. Uh, I don't have double attack, right? So I'll do nothing there. I'll have to take the archer out. Now, production where? Okay, that was a harbor. Seaport's going to take bloody forever to build. Uh, I'm going to actually build some of the cheaper stuff first. Okay, that clears the uh, barbarian there. Uh, right. Uh, I built a granary. Uh, uh, do I want a public school? Yeah, I'll go with the public school. Uh, I really should build the uh, amphitheater and uh, and so on and get my culture buildings out as well. Uh, that'll certainly improve the uh, tally up there. Okay, so that's pretty much everything to improve over there. So that'll lead me to the stuff over here. One, two, so this tile here. Um, right. 
Right, so that's going to have to be a mine because there's no fresh water. Uh, that's a cargo ship, so I'll redo this one. I don't have a granary here, so I'll stick with the uh, uh, production. Um, right. Oh, yeah, I should uh, tell it to go on to the next turn. It'll make progress faster that way. And funny that, you know, you actually tell it to do something and it goes ahead and does it. Okay, so I'll take bombardment and sentry. Park the ship over there. Um, I'll build another one. So I made it fertilizer here. That's going to improve uh, farms quite a bit. Uh, food production substantially. Uh, because that gives plus one food on uh, farms without uh, uh, fresh water. Hey, that's a public school there. Not really much else that can be built there. Um, I don't see anything useful to do there. Okay, so... Wealth it is, then. So, that's uh, research. Okay, dynamite gives me artillery. Uh, steam power leads to... That leads to railroad, I believe. Biology reveals oil. Um, and electricity reveals aluminum. Or I suppose if you prefer aluminium. I'm going to go for biology, get reveal oil. Uh, I'm hoping that I've got uh, good sources of aluminum and oil uh, because those are fairly critical late game. Uh, if you don't have them, uh, you're at a substantial disadvantage, and you really do need to at that point um, go ahead and start fighting for it. Uh, yeah, castle there. Uh, what? There isn't really anything here. So, wealth it is there. Now, on we go. Ah, Poland is plotting against the Huns. Okay, we're ready for a construction project here. Okay, I could go for harbor, and actually I'm going to. And here we built the library. So on with the university. Suppose I could build a fishing boat and uh, improve the uh, production on the fish over there. Uh, right. OK. 
Okay. Right, good. Um, I'm going to send uh, that guy home. Uh, what have I, I done here? Well, there really isn't anything else to be doing there. Uh, this tile actually be a good one to improve. Great artist. Well, with the great artist, I have two choices. I could go for a golden age, which will last for 24 turns, or I can build a work of art. I am going to go for a golden age, because I think that's going to have a better net benefit. Uh, okay, I've got a ship here, so I'll give it the same promotions. And I'm going to park it where? Over here, I think. Now, really there isn't much to do in Constantinople at this point in time. So, wealth it is. Let's take a look at the citizens here. Um, almost all of the... Uh, specialist slots are filled. Uh, we've got 25 net food here. Um, and that's basically the total surplus we're getting from trade routes. Okay. I really need to uh, acquire some uh, substantial gold here, so I need uh, I need to get uh, working on that. Uh, right, uh, choose production. Okay, that's a library there. Okay, university. I finished a library there. I'm going to build the granary and then I'll go on with the university. I'm going to park that boat. Okay. Uh, about 11 turts for a social policy. Okay, send the food over, um, right, as I've complained about before, uh, trade routes are annoying because you always have to uh, re-establish them regularly, uh, and it's something that, uh, well, it's just annoying, let's just leave it at that. Okay. Well, that's done. So I'll uh, work on filling in the improvements around here. I should be getting to the point where I hit the breakover on uh, on the uh, the uh, gold uh, situation. 
Well, if I actually send the engineer over there, I can improve the uh, production over there. Okay, so far so good. Oh, I think that one was out of range. No, it's not. Okay, it definitely should get improved. Um, right, uh, where am I at? Right. So that's going to have to be a mine due to lack of fresh water. Uh, here, I can send food to Constantinople now. Okay, what if I... Okay, uh, one, two... So this is going to need improvements there. Um, need to re-up that. And here, that's uh, plus five production to the hill. Um, right. Uh... Arsenal for defense. Yes. Uh, the nice thing about the defense buildings is they don't actually cost anything. Uh, what have I got here? Public school. Yes. Um, right. So that's a granary there. Um, I can build a seaport reasonably quickly there now. So I will do that. This is, of course, uh, a real tedious part of the game. If you have a lot of cities, this part of the game uh, gets extremely tedious. Uh, now, you would think uh, setting your workers on autopilot would relieve the tedium, but there is uh, some issues with doing that, uh, notably that the workers will tend to get stuck in a loop uh, switching between irrigation and or, or mines and or, and uh, well not mines uh, farms and uh, trading posts on uh, tiles near um, puppeted cities, uh, which is definitely not a helpful uh, scenario. Uh, right, so. Make a farm there. Okay, here it has. To, it's going to be a mine. Uh, I'm more interested in production than uh, gold. Direct gold production. 
Now, if I were to annex these two cities I've acquired, uh, I could build my religious buildings there and uh, get a tourism bonus from doing that. At this point in time, it's not worth the extra culture cost for acquiring social policies, so I'm not going to do that at this point in time. Okay, this builds culture buildings faster, uh, and this puts extra happiness onto culture. But I need both of those, of course, uh, but I'll go for this one. That'll mean when I start building my culture buildings in these other cities that they will complete substantially faster. So once I research biology, um, I'll uh, I'll be sending my workers out to uh, construct uh, oil wells, very likely. It will be interesting to see if I've got a decent amount of oil. It's possible that uh, it'll all be uh, offshore, uh, which would be fine if it is. Uh, it just means I need another tech to uh, actually uh, uh, develop it. Okay, so that's that. One, two, three, three. I need to re up this one. And here, I finished the university there. Now I could go for the public school or this other stuff. I'm going to go for the Colosseum for the happiness, actually. Okay, Attila's plotting against Poland. That makes sense, given that Poland is uh, probably the uh, more significant uh, threat. Uh, right. Onward. Okay, there's biology. Uh, that so farm there. That's going to be a mine. Uh, electricity, I think. Um, I discovered oil offshore. I discovered oil in the desert. I discovered oil offshore. I discovered oil on the tundra. And offshore. And offshore. Okay, so I have two onshore and a bunch offshore.
So I'll go ahead and improve that one right away. And what do I have here? Well, I'll need a worker to send back to that one. That's seven oil. And that's, so I'm gonna have 14 oil, that's pretty decent. I don't wanna go to war with Poland. Now, if Poland offers war with the Huns, I might go for it. I'm not really prepared to uh, fight Poland, though I may need to, looking at the way it's expanding. Huh. Well, on with the next turn. Okay, that's a worker that I can send over there. So I'll build the oil well there. Okay, that's another one to switch over to food. Uh, right. What do I do with this one? There really isn't much I can do here. So I'll send the uh, worker over this way. get some uh, oil wells going there. And what do I need for an offshore oil platform? Huh. Okay, right, that's built. Okay, the hospital's plus five food, but it has a maintenance cost. Yeah, I'll go with building the hospitals. Oh, I should uh, do that in my uh, wealth cities as well. Uh, then I'm going to end up with uh, some other stuff to build. Right. My golden age has ended. Okay, one, two, there's one more farm to build there. 
There's a farm to build there. Uh, and here is definitely a farm. On we go. In a few minutes here, I'll be up on an hour, so I'll uh, I'll be uh, closing the part out uh, then. Okay, right. I was going to change these wealth things over to hospitals. Now this time I've gone for a substantially negative cash flow. Um, right, I finished the university there. I think a circus would be an excellent idea there, uh, just so that I can uh, get a little bit of a handle on the uh, unhappiness in my empire. I want to uh, uh, get out of that unhappy uh, arrangement. Okay. Fortunately, I have a substantial amount of gold. Um, okay, so that's... Uh, Uh, no, I really don't want to fight Poland if I can avoid it. Uh, it's Poland is too big. They they'll have too many possible units they can build in a hurry. Okay, build the last mine on the hill there. Okay, so that was the Colosseum. Build the zoo, uh, or I could uh, I could build the public school, or I could go ahead and start building the culture buildings out there, which is what I'm going to do. One advantage of uh, going into unhappy territory in the uh, empire is that your cities grow slower when that happens. Uh, on the downside, your cities grow slower when that happens. Uh, so it's definitely worth avoiding. Okay, so I finished a seaport there. Uh, university, right. I need to get the universities built. Um, so that's a public school finished there. Uh, I definitely need to get these uh, culture buildings out as well. Okay, I need to re-up the trade route there. Um, okay, so I'm up on an hour here. So I'm going to call it apart in turn 1042 here. Um, there's uh, a fair bit, uh, really, that uh, that's left in the game here. Uh, if you take a look at the uh, cultural influence... Um, I've got a lot of work to uh, catch up to Poland, which is generating culture at an alarming rate. Um, the Huns are also starting to generate culture at an alarming rate. So I'm definitely going to need to do something to uh, beef up my uh, tourism. Uh, but anyway, 
uh, this is the end of part 11 and I'll see everybody back in part 12.